Expose framework has been there on Android for quite long and there are hundreds and hundreds of Android mods that you can get on your phone using Expose framework. So keeping all the mainstream modules aside like Gravity Box and Greenify, this video will show you the top 7 Android mods that you can get on your phone using Expose framework. These modules are extremely useful and awesome as well. So let's start. This video will require Expose to be installed on your phone and for Expose to be installed on your phone you will require root access. So if you guys don't know how to install Expose framework or don't know what Exposed is you can go ahead and check out my video. Uh, I will leave the link in the description and there would also be a card uh, on the top right corner. This module lets you completely revamp the animations that are there on your device. And there are animations on your device where you don't even notice them. For example, when you open the keyboard app or you're scrolling through the list views, there are various animations everywhere on Android and this app lets you change all of them. There are different presets for the window animations. You can choose any one of them or you can specifically select all the animations yourself. This will require a reboot to work. To change the keyboard animations, you will need to open the IME animations tab and inside that you will find the enter animation and the exit animation for the keyboard. So you'll have to select both of them separately. You can select the same for both of them also and it would work just fine. I will just select some random animations and will show you how it looks like. So as you can see it slides from the top and rolls over to the side. We can select all the different animations that you have here and they work perfectly fine. Now the list view animation. When you're scrolling through a list there is an animation going on that is called the list view animation. You can completely revamp it using this app. So what you have to do is open the list view animation. There are various choices just like there was for the keyboard animation. After you have selected the animation, you can test it using the test list view button. It will open a sample list view where you can test the list view animations. Now I will also select the list view interpolator. The list view interpolator is how the animations work. Changing the interpolator will change how the animations look slightly. So if you select overshoot, the animations will overshoot a bit. If you select decelerate, they will slowly move into place and so on. So you have various scroll configurations as well. You can change the over scroll distance so it will bounce just like the iPhone. And there are various other options in this app as well. You can check them out yourself. The native clipboard app is a must have if you do a lot of typing on your phone. Or even if you don't type that much, you will find this very useful. When you start the app, you will get a kind of a tutorial that explains you how the app works. But I will skip that and I will show you how it works. So what this does is, it will create a clipboard of all the things that you have copied. So you can precisely select which thing you want to paste at that moment. You can copy multiple things and they will all be pasted onto your clipboard and you can select the thing which you want to paste from the clipboard. So as you see, I will copy some random text and they will all be on the clipboard. On the clipboard, you can also pin it or edit what you have copied or even share it with your friends. Uh, this module also has various themes so you can change it to your preference and it has some other nifty features also. So before jumping on to the next module, I would request you guys to click the subscribe button because it will motivate me to make more videos like this. So next is the network speed indicator. This is also a very simple module and it will show you the speed of your network, the upload speed and the download speed in your status bar. You also have the update interval. It is the time in which the indicator updates itself. You can also change the font size. I like it to be a bit bigger than 10, but smaller than 20. So I keep it at around 14 to 15. You can also change the font type uh, to bold or italic or both. And there are other customizability options as well. This module can be extremely useful when you are on a limited data pack or on a limited Wi-Fi. Android Anify is a module that will let you theme your phone just like Android Nougat. It will change the whole interface of your phone to match Android Nougat. It will change the status bar, the quick settings panel, the recents panel and even the power menu and the lock screen. You can also change the easter egg if you want. 
you can theme your phone and you can also customize it to your preference you can make changes to the notification panel as well as the quick settings panel you can add more icons to the quick settings panel or change the size of the icons and i'll let you see all the other options by yourself If you remember the LG series of phones that had the knock code features this app replicates that uh, and this module will let you have the knock code on your lock screen you can use this app to set up shortcuts on the lock screen using a knock code you will have to match the pattern to the one you supplied you can also set up multiple apps with different knock codes and they would open with the pattern that matches with the one you supplied and of course you can use this to unlock your phone I like this app a bit more because it doesn't interfere with the fingerprint scanner on my phone. So this is a very simple module. It is the volume steps module and it does as the name says. It increases or decreases the amount of steps that you have on the volume panel. The steps are actually the increments that you have on the panel. When you're using your phone at night or you don't want the person sitting next to you to hear the music you can turn up the increments to 30 or something uh, you will be able to precisely set the volume that you want i find this very useful to be honest if you listen to a lot of music on your phone this is the must have module for you this module will let your physical buttons to media playback actions when your screen is locked for example i've set up the volume up hold to open savan app and volume down hold to play the music so i don't even need to unlock my phone to start playing music and you can also set up various actions for other key triggers like to double tap for the next play song or double tap volume down for previous song you can launch various applications as well while your phone is locked you can also set up advanced chains like four taps or five taps or even three taps then hold then five taps and it would do various actions accordingly the possibilities with this module are unlimited and it will take your music game to a next level i know this video was about the top 7 exposed modules but i would like to include extern in this as well i have already made a video on this module this module will let you have any androids easter egg on your phone you can have gingerbread nougat or any other easter egg on your phone so guys if you like the video click the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this